Hey yo, we're starting today's vlog in the garage. Just kind of wanted to start here because I got a little bit of an interesting thing that I want to talk to you guys about. We did have an issue that I known uh, was an issue for like the last few weeks. It really shook its head and, and, and the worst case scenario almost happened to me yesterday at the cart track. Hey, what's up y'all? Welcome to the vlog. It's me Lex, uh, the dad by God. What up? Um, let's go back to Kinsman. We've been jamming the last two weeks. I've been really learning a lot. I've been focusing up on something really special because I'm trying to be a rider. So let's go back. Last couple weeks, you can see how I progressed from what I thought was a pretty good session a couple weeks ago to what I thought was a pretty good session yesterday and then let's come back and let's talk and we'll wrap a taste and I'm gonna show you something on the bike.
defenseman card track practicing i'm trying to work on myself mobbing getting quicker getting comfortable going quicker shit like that last time i was here i felt like i was doing pretty dang good and i mean i was essentially but i was actually on track with one of the fast dudes and he was mobbing and showed me <laughs> he didn't try to he just came mobbing by me and he showed me like a really solid ass line i got that line i want to um improve on that line and just go faster and faster Impressions are crazy. Tuckered out, man. We are tuckered out. Jalen's annoyed with the flies. I am too, but today's been a nutcase because look, look, we got R3s out here today. So we're about three R3s out here. There's two Ninja 400s out here. It's usually overtaken by supermotos, but it's actual motorcycles out here today. But the sessions were really solid. Worked on all the stuff I wanted to work on um, from the footage that I look at. Look, they traded on through there. Damn, it makes me want to suit up and get out there. So Jalen, he, he's become a football star or something. So he had a football game this week. Uh, he scored a couple touchdowns and then he also wants to do basketball. And he's at basketball practice. So the guy's worn out, a little fatigued. And you know me, I'm like, hey, well, still gotta get out there and get to work on the track. So he's a little sore, but he still got out. <laughs> James doing wheelies. He still got out and got on the track, worked on his body position. You just got some solid pictures. You see the pictures James showed you? Yeah, real good, real good body position. I'm trying to work on mine and get better. Trying to get faster. Uh, the pegs are getting whooped. They absolutely have to be changed out. Um, I mean, if you look at my shoes, 
like I'm dragging both sides and this one's the worst and and like I said I am working on body position a lot and I am improving a lot but those pegs gotta go looking at the R3 uh, dude's white R3 his rear sets are up with the swing arm pivot bolt ours are down about an inch and a half two inches so that's got to go up higher uh because for one i almost did it i almost slid my back out because i drug it deep and for two i'm just running through shoes and that's not a vibe that ain't a vibe at all so uh we're gonna change that again fun ass session great to get out here improve upon something that i wanted to improve upon <laughs> that was hilarious. But um, we're gonna tap out from here. You might see us again in a second. Okay, so here's the issue that we're having. Squids be talking about that chicken strip shit. Leave the finger foods to the squids. You can drag every ounce of kneecap on your body and your homeboy's bodies. And there are just certain times that you don't use the entire tire. <laughs> the entire tire <laughs> you don't use the full tire we've got a little bit less than a fingernail here but literally the entire tire has been used now you go to a local bike night some johnny b bad want a clown and say you still got some chicken strips bro you could tell him to fuck off because this bike because of the crown and profile of the tire is harder to get to the edge if you've got a wider crown and profile like you see on the r6 it's very wide we're scrubbing out the edge on that bike but the 300 is harder to get to the edge of the tire on this bike that was not a goal i'm not looking to get to the edge of the tire what we found out is we've maxed the lean angle out on this bike the pegs are a hard point that you end up hitting that restricts your lean angle. On the track where you have suspension load, the bike is compressing, which makes it lower, and it's leaning over. So all of your hard points, your impact points, are now lower to the ground. So the lean angle is a lot, but you also have less ground clearance, so you start hitting shit. It's a challenge because now that I'm more comfortable with leaning this bike in, quicker and i'm going into corners quicker i get the bike too low and i'm hitting the pegs now the danger point we talked about this with Jalen, but let me explain it to y'all when you pick the tire up off the ground you're gonna go down you're gonna low side that's where adjustable rear sets come into play these adjustable rear sets they're 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 consumable it's like your tires it's like your gas uh when you fall you're gonna hit rear sets clip-ons that's why you have extra parts of those. So we do have extra parts, but what we have to do is we don't care about the, you know, rubbing it out, the aesthetic of that. We care about preserving ourselves and not hurting ourselves. So we have to adjust these up a little bit higher. What needs to be done, honestly, is I need to change out to a whole nother rear set. Because not only am I running through this and possibly going to, knock myself off the bike um i also have my tip of my toe turned out as i'm on the rear set and i ran through the entire toe guard on my boot next was actual toe if i had scrubbed it in a little bit more so those are two things that are really a big issue that i found out from this weekend's ride so after further review it does not look like we're going to be able to get any more adjustments out of this that's going to clear these pegs from hitting the ground the thing is it's just got to be new purchase made it's just a hurdle in the progress we're making progress which is really cool but with this being like a low dollar investment bike that's been giving us a greater potential in riding, which gets more out of the other bikes. That is where the benefit is on this bike. But we don't want to make a low dollar amount that's gone into this bike have a huge cost by sending me or my son to the hospital. Of course, health coverage, everything, take care of everything, be fine. We just don't want to scrub off of nothing goofy like that. It's cool to achieve this kind of a hurdle because that just means that we're getting good and, and it's happening pretty quickly. 
These have short pegs and they're set up pretty high. These pegs are definitely far longer. You know, I cut these short and these are adjustable, but you know, everything is a little shorter, but the practice bike has some long, low pegs. It's not really about the full tire usage as it is about getting the understanding of body control and control of this motorcycle. Everything that we're learning here goes and transfers to this. I'm gonna have to learn to deal with 170 horsepower, 80 pound feet of torque at this rear wheel while trying to be aggressive from what I've learned on this thing right here. So one thing that I am going to get is a swap out for this seat. One of the guys at the track, he had a Woodcraft seat, which is a fiberglass shell, which comes up a little bit higher. It also has a padding that you can purchase, sort of what I've been using for these on uh, the track bike. This is like a 20 mil or a little bit thicker pad. I can even get some of this stuff. The shell sits you up a little bit higher. The padding sits you even higher up off of the shell. What that's gonna allow for is a way easier tuck in. Since you're gonna be up higher, I'm not gonna be held in by this right here. It'll be more up in this area. So it'll give me an easier tuck, make some more cockpit room. But what that is gonna do, rear sets that are a little bit more aggressive, they're a lot higher, they're back a little bit more. If we were keeping it on the stock seats, that would be a cramped rider triangle, right? Adding that seat is gonna give us some more height up top. So we'll get the rear sets, we'll get the seat, and this will be out of the danger zone. We're not the type of people that wanna modify the bike for speed. We want to modify the bike to get the most out of the bike. This bike is totally stock. Because, I mean, look, we even still got the same stock cat. It's full exhaust. Only going to get you about two horsepower and a whole lot of noise. It's not like this thing right here. You add power, you get power. This right here, you're only going to get like one or two horsepower and some torque. I, I'm okay with spending $1,000 on this thing, right? About $1,000, more effective riding, more... A valuable riding because that ride time is going to allow us to learn a whole lot more and get more aggressive so i think that's what we're at that's what we're going to do with this uh it was a great learning session great understanding of the bike really good damn time and of course we're going to take everything that we learned right here to this big bike thunder hill is going to be on the 15th i mean the vlog's going to be fire i got about seven guys coming with me this thing is going to be great so it'll be great to get reacquainted. Jalen's going to ride that. He's going to have some fun with us. And we should have a really good time. I'm really excited about it. I'm more or less excited about the progression. That's like this right here is, is going to be the show and prove. Like whatever we've been doing here, it's going to actually be put to pace right here. But I'm going to get y'all two and we out.